Singer-songwriter Brooke Benton was born Benjamin Franklin P. in 1931 in Camden, South Carolina. As a young person, he enjoyed gospel music, wrote songs, and sang in a Methodist church choir in Lugoff where his father, Willie P., was the choir master. Benton was a member of the Camden Jubilee Singers while still a child, working to deliver milk in the mornings. He moved to New York City in 1948 at age 17 to follow his dream of being a songwriter. Eventually moving back to South Carolina, Benton drove a truck for a short time, then joined the R&B singing group The Sandman upon his return to New York in search of a big break. He changed his name to Brooke Benton at the suggestion of his record label and found a successful career co-producing records, songwriting, and making demos with artists such as Nat King Cole, Clyde McFadder, and Roy Hamilton. He first recorded under his own name in 1953. Benton's breakthrough was in 1959 with his rise to the top of the charts with It's Just a Matter of Time that peaked at number three on the Billboard charts and endlessly that went to number 12. Those were the first of 23 top 40 hits Benton recorded either as a solo or a duet from 1959 to 1964. Benton eventually saw 49 singles on the Billboard Hot 100 with other songs charting on Billboard's Rhythm and Blues, Easy Listening, and Christmas Music charts. Benton hit the top 10 one final time in 1970 with a version of Rainy Night in Georgia. He remained a popular concert performer in the U.S. and Great Britain throughout the 1980s. My dad was, uh, man, uh, I guess you could say a singing Superman, a great friend for just about just about anybody to have. There's a lot of people in the St. Albans area um, that were actually assisted um, by my dad in many different ways. Even he he was some some type of philanthropist in in a in a lot of different ways. He would come. interact with the community and the uh, the churches in the area, um, Carter's Community Church, Allen AME. So there's a lot of things that he got his hands in when it came to being a community person. Benton died in 1988 in New York City, leaving behind his wife Mary and children Brooke Jr., Vanessa, Roy, and Gerald. He is remembered as a humanitarian who was always helping others.